defense in the Super Bowl, as good a defensive performance as we have seen in the big game in quite a while, maybe ever, held the Rams, who had been averaging over 32 points per game, to three points, cut their rushing output in half, their yardage output by 160 yards. The question now, a week after the game, how did they do that? Willie McGinnis with us for the first time since the Super Bowl. Yep. You know this defense as well as anybody. What did you see? Well, one thing, when you got a young quarterback that's still getting, like, training from the head coach and he's still talking to him throughout plays to help him out, you understand that. And then the other thing, when you have a young quarterback, you want to give disguises, give him the illusion that he's seeing something, and then when, right before the ball is snapped, you want to show him something else. So on this very first play, when we go to the game, here's, here's a man-to-man, -man, because you see Gilmore running over with Cooks. That's man-to-man, -man, but look at the safeties. They're too high. So this is giving you a cover two look, which means zone. It's not zone, it's man-to-man. -man. They're covering Robert Woods right here in the slot, man-to-man, -man, with Jones and Chung. He thinks it's open. Golf is going to let the ball go right now, but Chung's coming outside. They got a vice. He got him outside, and Jones had him inside, okay? So that's one play. Here it is again. Everybody's locked up. It's man-to-man. -man. You got McCourty right here in the box. Now, you don't know if he's a rusher or if he's dropping out. Well, guess what? He's dropping out. It's a double-double team, so they're forcing the ball to go to the single guy who is their best cover guy in Gilmore. And and then on this last play, they're going to put McCourty in the box again. He's thinking the same thing. Okay, they're going to double somebody. They're in the man-to-man -man again. But guess what? They bring both the safeties in the blitz. So they're giving you a, a lot of different looks. They're giving you the same looks, but there's different actions off of those looks. So it's a constant throughout the game. We give you something, we take it away, and we bring something else. So the goal, obviously, to confuse Jared Goff, and right. apparently they did that so su su successfully, they didn't even have to go all that deep into their bag of tricks. According to you, they left something in there? There are always a bag of tricks. When we played, we always had a first half, maybe even the second quarter. If you make adjustments, we're going to come with something totally different you didn't see. In the second half, didn't need to go to those plays because they were handling everything with what they had in the first half. The Rams couldn't handle it. No need to adjust. Continue to do what you do, and it worked. So they had a plan, and they said, abort the plan. We don't need to change anything. Stick the A to plan was working. working. The A plan was working. Until it stops working. Is it true that they had two defensive calls for every play, one for up to the time that that uh, Sean McVay could talk to Jared Goff and then one for after the, the uh, headset clicked off? It's actually one play. You just disguise and show something else. And then when the time runs down like we used to do against Peyton Manning, you get it to where now you can't check out of everything. you got to run the play you called, and we're going to give you a different look and confuse you and take that away. So much interesting stuff to go back and look at, and we'll do more of that tomorrow yeah. with Rex Burkhead, the Patriots running back, our guest tomorrow on NFL Total Access. In the meantime, news out of Carolina.